I took my child to Masakari, Masakari General Far Hospital to be treated. They diagnosed and uh, that the boy had the, uh, had the masses on the right kidney, two masses, and they ref they preferred to to make an operation. I was given a doctor called Doctor Okero. Unfortunately, he requested seven hundred thousand to be paid on cash on before the operation. But they had promised me that you people who want free free services. You, you should be referred to Kampala, and they did it. The boy was, uh, was uh, they kept the boy for six days on the ward without do, giving him any services. The boy stopped urinating, then he was, uh, he was, he was put in a catheter. I was given an ambulance, but I had to pay to the driver 250000 which I had it at that moment, because the Kivanja had not been sold at that moment. This is a photo of Haman Musisi, 10 years old, who died this very month after his father, Charles Matovo, failed to raise the required money. It is one of the testimonies of members of the public shared during an engagement by the IGG on the state of health service delivery held in Kampala. Disseminating findings from sport checks in four regional areas, the deputy... AGG Anne Muheri highlighted key systematic challenges that have bedeviled the sector, including negligence, absenteeism, understaffing, corruption, and solicitation of bribes from patients. It's very disappointing that what is on the ground, uh, you are surpassing, uh, you're almost competing with the police forces, according to our statistics, or even are almost surpassing them in engaging in solicitation and corruption in this country. Drug stockouts and conflict of interest by health workers were yet other challenges which are all blamed on gaps in supervision. Supervision is a very serious problem and I think if we upped that, then 50% of the problems in the health sector may be resolved. The Inspector General of Government, Betty Kamia, says there is a need for the relevant regulatory bodies to play their part if existing gaps in service delivery are to be fixed. To a large extent, this deplorable condition can be traced to corruption, which comes in many forms. She has also justified the new strategy of tackling corruption through boardroom sessions. We are not switching from being hunters. We shall continue to be hunters. But where we can work together as stakeholders, we shall also work together as stakeholders. The Inspector General of Government, Betty Kamia, is also calling for punitive action against all errant officers in the health sector. Benjamin Jumbe, NTV.